Would you like to support Cubs Out Loud? One way is to join us over on Patreon. For as little as a buck a month, patrons get early access to our shows, the pre and post show, and various other rewards. You can learn more at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Thanks to all of our patrons for their support in making this podcast. It's Sunday, September 15th, 2024. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. Welcome to Cubs Out Loud, the Bear Podcast. I've been determined the length episode number 754. <laughs> oh, no. And I just figured we'd have a moment of silence. I'm a bit depressed. So yeah, uh, for those of you that may be confused or not quite sure, uh, but you saw the title of the show, we're just going to talk about this. Um, The website got shut down. And it's not because of the D. Uh, if wait, Jeff, you wait. can. What? <laughs> you said not because of the D? Yeah, like not because of Dick. Oh, not like we okay. posted porn or anything adult on the website. Oh, and then, you know, oh. Or we're accused oh. of like peddling and, you know, child pedo uh-huh. stuff or any of that kind of shit. Got it. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was. What were you thinking? I, I don't know where my head went because, well, actually, it went Neither where do I. <laughs> it went where because Jeff just said he was depressed and then you said because the Dean, I was like, oh, okay. That is going on. It right? wasn't because of, so yeah. um, but, anyways, Jeff can fill in some of what I'm about to say as far as like the, the theoretical uh, as I try to piece this together. Long story short, TLDR uh, the Cubs Out Loud website went down over a week ago. Act or something, or I don't know. So the code that we've been using, we use WordPress. Like 60 to 80% of the internet does. Um, had some malicious code in it, aka malware. And the hosting company alerted Jeff. However between the time that the alert came through and it was being investigated, uh, apparently it infiltrated the entire site. Literally, when we even started before we were trying to figure out like where this malware they were saying was, mm -hmm. comes out loud, was deleted. Not the domain itself, but the entire website. So before I tried started rebuilding, which is going to take a really long time. It is. It'll take a while. Um, um, it, I, I, I basically nuked everything I had on, on, for websites on my hosting company and just deleted everything. Took the report. It was like, Practically everything in this folder, which would be anything for a website, is detected as malware. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to move it, reinstall WordPress, and start up. So if you go to CubsOutLoud.com right now, you will get a website. And it has one post. And it has our banner image. And that's it. It is a new banner image. 
because it's a new day and it's a relaunch of the website and she's on a diet. <laughs> and we couldn't find the one we original a copy of the original one we had. <laughs> so Jeff's depression is legit mm-hmm. because unfortunately and this isn't something I've like talked to you about or asked you about Jeff like the in, everything that was the website is gone everything. correct so everything all the postings the comments image files the data that kind of stuff mm-hmm so um we've been using google drive for a very long time um probably since around i joined question mark yes no maybe so i know it wasn't that long after if not because i know it started with us doing um did it start with the sheet? Like doing the, the, the document, the doc? The matrix or the... Well, so the email's been around since 2009. Yeah. I'm um, thinking more about the lines. The, um, uh, the doc that we use to like put for each everything episode. in. Yeah, for each episode. Right. I know we started doing that with Eric... Right. As I say, Eric, as a former co-host, was the one who offered up the idea um, for creating a template, like basically a flow of each episode, including some jump cuts, like links at the very top that like go to specific points. And it allowed us to like start doing the metadata aspect of like keywords. So like. Damon like types them in as we do every single episode. So Jeff can copy paste them and put them in with the posts. Um, so yeah, like that's been around for a while. I'm about to double check. Um, so there's a lot of backlog quote unquote, um, of things to be like found and figured out. So, in theory, (laughs) she can be rebuilt, ish. It's going to take would take a while, and I can understand that. So, actually, the the earliest doc episode that I found was one fifty five. So, happy six (laughs) hundred. Oh, wow. Because it's 754 today, Mm -hmm. about to be 755. Yeah. So that makes actually 600 episodes, technically, Mm. right? Something like that. If you count 155. Yeah. And it's interesting. So those that I haven't been around for a couple of weeks and um because i have had had a lot going on we'll talk about that next week or not next week in a couple weeks Mm -hmm. um but um it was interesting yesterday um because i was in the middle of a contest in indiana judging and my phone is just blowing up (laughs) buzzing and i i i have to ignore it because the, I'm, I think when it was happening, I was looking at contestants on a stage. Um, and we finally get to an intermission, and I go and I look, and I'm like, oh, no. And I'm trying to, like, catch up and read as much as I can, but I had the smallest of an intermission. And I was like, that's... It's terrible. And I know I, I am... Sorry that it happened because I think the main issue, and I think we can all agree, the issue was that it wasn't anything that we did. It wasn't anything that we could have stopped or prevented. There's no, I for my 
to my knowledge, granted, I don't have a lot of knowledge about this stuff, but I don't know how it happened. So it's hard to like blame, you know, I don't think it's us. Like I genuinely don't think something we did or something that happened with our site could have, could have made it be a thing. So that's where I think the, the hurt can come from is that there's no quick resolve. Mm. If that makes sense. Right. Like we can't just go, oh, here, like remove this code or this thing that was dirty or whatever word we want to use here. And bam, everything's back. That's, that's... Well, right. And the thing is, is that most likely a piece of software that was used for the back end of the website that was a add-on of some sort, uh, mm -hmm. possibly the main coding that was within WordPress is where this nefarious code came from. But you wouldn't right. know it necessarily. Right. Um, I was reading up last night online about, like, because what I was basically, like, trying to figure out is, like, how do you get back a deleted website? Like, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. what do you do about that? And if you don't have installed and most likely pay for backups to be made of everything on the server folder, basically, that houses it, then there's no way to really know. Right. And the website... I believe was set for auto update, which means every time like an add on an extra piece of like the coding was used for like, we used to have a word cloud that would like, like mm -hmm. show based on text size, a visual, the popularity of keywords that were in shows. So that's like an extra thing that you put on there. Um, anyways, so something along the line could have been, infiltrated by bad actors and it couldn't even it might not even have been the original author or like that's the part that's difficult to gauge what that is uh -huh. Uh -huh. um chuck was in the the live chat and asked if anyone's personal data was taken and i said not to my knowledge because i don't we don't we didn't really house any of that on the website that i'm aware of yeah um i mean the only thing that i think we had on there was maybe email address we had at one point in time we had our email addresses. I don't know if that was still there, but that is it was also public. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like that yeah, right. I'm not saying it was our personal like I'm just saying like that's the only thing we could think of regarding personal data. Right. Um, so it's not like we had credit cards or home addresses or like right. social security numbers or any of that kind of jazz. Oh, yeah. 155 is like after the beta of TNG. Hmm. It's the first episode hmm. of the new TNG. Are we, are we using, well, Eric wasn't there then. Well, maybe, trust. maybe we were using a doc of some kind. Yeah, we were I using remember. a doc. It was really the template for the doc was what yeah, was suggested. Right. We've always had a doc. Yeah. No, trust me. Like, I'm looking at it, and it's in, well, it says it's in Verdana, but it kind of looks like Times New Roman. Like, it, look, <laughs> it looks, it looks, it looks a little rough. Um, but, oh, oh my God. I'm loving this. I've never seen this before. I'm looking at this, at this doc for the very first episode that we have a doc for is 155. Um, anyways, <laughs> I love in the middle of like a, of a script line, it says dramatic pause. <laughs> wow. Um, so basically, um, the website is back. However, it will take time to, to rebuild, to put mm -hmm. the things in there. The upside is the Google drive has like so much stuff in it. Um, mm -hmm. all the episodes will be in there. Um, I, since I came on, 
saved pretty much everything that I, well, not everything. I don't want to say hundred percent. I would say 90 plus percent of everything that I did with the show. I saved you a, a folder. Anyways. Um, sorry. I, I think we diverged. David, you were telling the story. You were at the, you were at the contest. Your phone was blowing up and you were ignoring it. No, no, no. That's, I mean, that's kind of what it was like just sensing like something was going on and, um, not having a chance to really look into it because I couldn't, I could only look down like at my phone every like little bit, but I was, I have like you on the, the, our host um, chat on notification. So I would see, um, <laughs> I would see Jeff and then Gary and then Gary and then Gary <laughs> and just, I didn't get to see everything that was in because I was right. just getting like a little bit. Previews. But um, I was like, okay, well, I can't really look at this right now. Let me, I figured I would, I actually put my phone in my pocket. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> That's but fair. It was, <laughs> it was okay. sort of, the table was moving a little bit. And I was like, let me get that. <laughs> so, so um, um, when I did look, it was 55 messages though. So that's, that's sort of, oh. If for for our listening audience, um, that is um, something that I was a little surprised. Like I was like, "Oh wow, okay." And um, it's fun reading through um, walls of text and seeing and sensing something awful has happened in a ways. And you know, there was you know, what can we do? Whatever can we do? Um, there's not much we can do um, and, until we got the report back. And then I think it took an hour for the report to get back or something along those lines. And then it was kind of a foregone conclusion at that point. But right. I think the, I don't want, I don't want to say the good thing, but I think the thing that we could potentially do is maybe take some time and separately sort of, discuss what all we want to do because uh, the other part is that a lot of our stuff what we've been doing is also available here on youtube correct yeah yeah i mean from the time we started like normally doing it and mm -hmm. <clears throat> most of the available audio files are all on archive.org right that's where i host all the audio files so David read through the the volume of messages of Jeff and I going back and forth. And that was one of the things that I was concerned about is like, were we housing all our audio on the server? And it also like, you know, got corrupted or whatever. I didn't think so. So yeah, the podcast itself is not lost, quote unquote. Um, but yeah. so that was... So to yeah. your point, Damon, like the RSS feed is still, those things are still mm -hmm. active, that thing's there. Um, yeah. The show is here. It's around. <laughs> um, the audio like, pod, the regular audio podcast won't be updating quite yet. Yeah. Until I can relink the website to our, the feed burden. Right. Because... The feed that I submitted to the podcasting platforms is a feed burner one, which still has the list of episodes, essentially. Right. Yeah. So, but for now, if, um, I think the way to think of this, and I'm trying to like spin this in a somewhat positive direction is it is just the website that is down. It is just a website that is not so like I can't go searching for um, older episodes because they're just not going to be there, um, which is fine. But like if you want to listen to the show, you can potentially find it, not maybe current you know, episodes for a while, for a little bit. But um, hey, you can listen, just listen to it on YouTube. Right. You can listen to YouTube. You can find them, you know. Some of the, you can find some of the stuff, the older stuff in other areas. It's just for a little bit or maybe a little longer, 
Um, it's just going to take a while for us to get everything back into to the present. Right. And then maybe, you know, working on things we could potentially go into building the past. Oh, man. Chuck. What are we laughing at? <laughs> it took me way, way, way too long to get what that what you were saying in the live chat. I was like, what? Anyways. Um, oh, God. It, it's a cultural <laughs> reference thing. I was like. Huh? I was like, that doesn't make any. I was like, okay, right, maybe I'm just not with it. Wow. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. So the thing is, is that um. What the heck is going on over here? I didn't ask you to like open. Sorry, my computer's like being strange. I'm trying to like do some things. Uh. So yeah, like. So the most recent episode is there, yes? Mm-hmm. Last week's. Jeff? Yeah, I just actually created it, like, half an hour ago. Okay. Um, but, it, I mean, it's not pushing to the podcasting feeds. But it's there. Right. So there's something. Um, by the way, Damon, if you happen to visit the website and you look at the new banner image, uh, so if you want your <laughs> headshot changed, let me know. Because <laughs> Jeff was like, hey, I need that banner image. And I was like, because I had said, I'm like, oh, I pretty much have like saved everything. And then, of course, no sooner that I say that, like, I'm looking for that image. And I found the previous one, but it seemed to be low res. Mm -hmm. So then I was rebuilding it and I was like, well, we've gotten older. And actually, our faces have gotten a little thinner <laughs> in the past couple of years, a little grayer, maybe for some of us. So I was like, let me just like do some replacement headshot stuff. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> and because I knew you were gone this weekend, David, uh -huh. that's what that's also why, like, I think Jeff and I like we knew that you weren't available or until later today. So I wasn't expecting you to reply to the to the telegram like yeah. thread and uh all that kind of jazz so anyways so yeah i uh i swiped a headshot that i found on social media of yours that i thought would be okay um mm -hmm. i really like the one that you had recently but i think it's with red black and it's a very dark background it's i think of you uh, sitting yeah 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 um that was that was a uh, one of the pictures i got taken by JDT portraits like it probably um I think that was uh was that World Bear? May have been World Bear that I got that picture taken. It's it's definitely like a photo shoot, like yeah, 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 yeah. Photographer setup kind of deal. Um so I really liked it, but I knew what I was trying to get as mm -hmm. far as like bust portraity mm -hmm. kind of things um there is a different one other than you with the sunglasses on um mm -hmm. and because we had like kind of the whitish backgrounds in the past like i was like oh what if we go with something uh a little bit more like environment like right as opposed to like so sanitized so that's why like mine mine's a headshot that i had done by shutter um a couple of years ago i paid him and had a photo shoot done we went to a park and so I brought a Cubs Out Loud shirt. I had like a work shirt. We did some pictures like um, his like actual backdrop or whatever. And it's funny because one of those I use as my headshot for work. And it's really mm. comical to me how my jobs are like, oh, that's a really good. That's a really good photo of you. And I was like, thanks. And in my head, <laughs> I was like, it should be. I paid right. for it. Like, right. <laughs> I had a photographer do it. And it's so odd to me, like why nobody seems to think think about that i guess because we live in such a selfie age true people are just like oh i've got i've got a camera it's like no you have a you have a computer that we call a phone that you don't ever really talk to anybody on <laughs> <laughs> that has like has a camera and it could do things but um to all the photographers out there i hear you on the whole like it's very difficult for people to understand 
that while you have a tool, that tool can only be as good as like the skills that apply it. Right. And so photographers can actually kind of do things that your phone cannot necessarily do. Um, don't get me wrong. There are some photographers that use phones, but point is I knew I wanted to have some nice headshots like mm -hmm. for social media stuff for um, work or whatever. So I had, so I planned ahead and I was like, okay, I'm going to wear like, I think I brought like four shirts and we mm -hmm. did some interior stuff. We did some exterior stuff anyways. Um, so because of that, I was like, oh, that's right. I took a picture with me. It comes out loud t-shirt on. Ta-da! Repping the merch. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we can, oh, we we can obviously update or change that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we'll see. I haven't, I like the one. I, I I wish I had one that I didn't have glasses on, but, or sunglasses on, but I may look. I'm looking through and seeing if I can find something that may be a better choice. Um, there was one. There once was a man from. Never mind. Um, I almost started doing that limerick. It's so bad. Wow. Wow. Let me see which one's which. Um, there is one that I found that of you without the sunglasses, with uh, glasses on. I liked the sunglasses as one because you're in your vest. Mm -hmm. And you've got like a lanyard and pins. Um, mm -hmm. It's got your Onyx patch. Like, yeah. And it's the LGBT, like, what is it, 20 sided die? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I was like, oh, that one's really cool. Um, yeah. Oh, the other one is of you in a hoodie at Five Guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a really good picture of you. But I was like, well. <laughs> I was like, I think the other one's a little bit better representation of like Damon as in a if you were to like oh, yeah. Yeah, read into was... looking at the image, like what is the yeah. what represents Damon? I know that picture. I, I, I remember that picture. So I had gotten my haircut that day. We were on our way to gaming, so we stopped at Fire Guys for lunch. And I just took a quick, you know, selfie. Um and I'm like, this is a really good picture. Um yeah. and that's been my I, it was my profile picture for a while because it was a really good shot. But again, um, I'm, you know, I think to, like I'm saying, I'm trying to like build on the positive. We have a potentially, a potentially, ooh, words. I'm tired, by the way. Um, uh, <laughs> but uh, we have a potential to, you know, look at things and see what we want to do if we want to do anything or if we want to restart fresh, you know, that's kind of a thing we could potentially think about. You know, we have places where stuff is. We have archives where things are. We have, you know, YouTube, et cetera. Um, it's just a matter of what we want to do um, or what we're capable of doing. That is the other part. Um, right. This isn't like the thing I want to say is this isn't a job. This isn't like get, uh, we're not getting while we appreciate our patrons, we're not getting like a salary for this. Um, so but this is a this is a hobby. This is a thing that we enjoy doing for the fun of it. And we need to keep in mind what we are capable of doing for the hobby. Because it shouldn't overwhelm us too much. If, if, if there's anyone who would like to volunteer to assist on restoring uh, <clears throat> a, what, almost 15-year 15, 15 endeavor yeah. that yeah. I've been working on, which has just gone practically completely down the drain, um, Please contact us. I'm, I, I, every time I even think about working on trying to restore the website to something, I just, yeah. I, I'm, mm. Yeah. 
I'm just, yeah. Yeah. There's a reason why I haven't been talking a lot this episode. Yeah. And I think that's fair, Jeff. Like this was something that you have put a lot of work and energy into. And that's, I'm not discounting any of that. I think that's why I'm trying to. No, oh, I, 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 I know. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm just putting my call out that help. I'm, I'm, yeah. I, 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 I can't do this. Um, I, I can like, I, th- I think. I mean, you probably have been noticing me kind of like looking off to the side and doing some things while while listening to people chat is because I've been trying to get the podcast feed back up and running and to see if anything we could try to add in last episode and maybe this episode as well. But uh, I'm not sure how that's going to affect our feed at all because all the previous episodes are no longer in that feed right now. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, patrons was it were able to get last episode just fine because that was all done through Patreon. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm not good. <laughs> and it, is, it hurts. <laughs> so I don't have the energy. (laughs) So I think I know I've been thinking about this since this kind of came up. One of the challenges is like, I feel that the, that the work that was put in over 15 plus years it's a lot of effort and that's a lot of hours. And I think that feels overwhelming to replace it or to duplicate it or however you like might want to say that to basically replace all that stuff. Um, The part that probably that, that bothered me the most about this is like what was lost. And by lost, I mean like we can't, like replace interaction like people commenting and like what their comment said and stuff like that mm-hmm. um not that people commented a ton on the website i'm gonna own that <laughs> it was not a robust platform or forum where people were you know having a huge amount of discourse or whatever mm-hmm. um but it will take time to put back in some semblance what was there before and to Jeff's point, like having some help with that, uh, I think would be greatly appreciated. The, I think the, the, for me, it's just incremental, like looking at it and figuring out what to do and how to do it. It's kind of like, I think of it like in terms of gaming, like when you start any new game, you have very little in terms of like assets, low level skills. You don't even necessarily know how to navigate all the stuff. Um, and you figure that out as you go along the way. So I feel like in as reestablishing the website to the point of like, what was, what was there versus what comes now? The upside is, is that like Jeff already knew what the theme was from the website before the theme is like the aesthetic look of the website that allows you to like plug things in, put title here, put text here, put button here, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Um, 
So as a a process right now, we can make it look like it used to, quote unquote. But also, I think that's where um, Chuck was saying in the live chat, it's also a good time for a redesign if we wanted to do that. And I was thinking about that as we were talking earlier about how like around 500 or so, because I just checked, is where we really pivoted to the YouTube thing. Prior to that, we did a lot of it audio. So because we've we as an entity being the podcast have been around for so long, we've seen so many generational changes. Like, let's own this. You you two know this. So a little peek behind the curtain. Some of you who have been following along for a long time also know this. We use Skype. We still use Skype to this day. We use Skype when I joined, like as the platform for how we connect. Um, and when we have guests on and I invite them, like that is sort of an inside joke about like, yes, you have to download Skype. <laughs> like you have to, you have to get it because nobody really uses it anymore. Um, sorry, Microsoft, it's true. Uh, so like it, it has limited like access and use um, in that case, but it serves the function that we need it to um, as the video audio like platform that allows us to connect quote unquote. And then we use other third party things to capture stuff. I mean, back in the day when we started, we didn't even really look at each other, did we? Like, I don't think we had cameras on very much. No. I think we just talked to each other on Skype well, audio we were, only. Part of it was trying to save bandwidth. And... Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember that. So um, anyways, my point is like the technology has changed over time. We have changed over time. And I think like it could be a, a good time to consider modifying the website to distill like in essence, what do we need it to be? Um, because what we were doing was honestly, we put a ton of text. Like every episode was a post. Every episode had an image. Every episode, most episodes had keywords. Like some of that stuff I think is still relevant, but it also makes me kind of wonder like, but how many people today in 2024 are navigating to a website to use it for what purpose? So I'm saying that as a way, Jeff, like, because this has been your baby and understandably, like, you should, like, have emotions about, like, what's happened and that process. I mean, I would. You know, it's something that you've committed a huge chunk of your life to, and now this is like an unexpected shift or change. All right, Chuck, listen, you don't have to rub it into the live chat. All right. Um, so. <laughs> he said, God, we are getting old. Or how old we are. Yeah. No, we know. Um, but the reality is, uh, I think, and I'm not saying, Jeff, that we have to change what we were doing, but knowing the amount of work that will go into it we may like want to consider making changes that make sense and maybe like pre youtube we consider like having an archive of the podcast and figuring out like what that looks like because the reality is like there's first generation right like so there's the very beginning of the entire show and then there was a hiatus and then there was the beta test, the infamous, like what, six episodes of the TNG. And then, right, <laughs> David's holding up the T-shirt that he's wearing, which is the next generation anniversary, right? Um, and how we had 10 years of, uh, you know, that kind of era, so to speak. And it wasn't until we got to like, what, 250-ish episodes ago that we pivoted to using YouTube um, as a piece of the puzzle. And part of that was due to technology. Jeff, you had been using a, a piece of audio software that wasn't um, maintained or up, kept up anymore and couldn't be compatible. And so we were like, okay, what do we do about that? And it was like, oh, well, we could we could record via YouTube. Like YouTube will record us as video. You can extract the audio, blah, blah, blah. So we modified it and we changed with the time. So that's where there's a part of me that's like, you know, we're we're kind of, live talking this out um, in case y'all didn't figure that out at listening and or watching like we did not have a prep 
we did not have a like a sit down and be like what do we want to say how do we want to go about this um if you didn't know we don't do that a lot around here uh and that's not a dig that's just <laughs> how we roll like hence it comes out loud live <laughs> like it's not really scripted um so i will say this like i'm willing to assist as i can my time is not like endless mm -hmm. it is limited um i did oh that's what i was going to do uh i wanted to pull up because i mentioned that i had um a lot of stuff saved to an external drive so when i was when i was cre creating and keeping this stuff i ended up cre creating a, a col folder and so this is going to sound a little like probably redundant or strange i have an external hard drive um that I back up a lot of my stuff to. And then that, the company that made it doesn't, they used to have both the physical hard drive and a cloud space. So the hard drive automatically updated to the cloud. And they stopped offering that as a service about a year and a half, two years ago, which was really peeving me a lot. Because I realized like it's technology, it's gonna antiquate, like it's eventually gonna stop working. Um, and I'm gonna have to do something about that. So I, decided to use a web-based service to pay to, as a backup of my quote unquote holding backup unit. Um, so I have a physical hard drive right here and then I have a cloud-based backup of all the stuff. Anyways, I went in, into the hard drive and looked. Um, the disk size for COL, and this is not me bragging, um, is over 400 gigabytes. I see David's face <laughs> because like a lot of it honestly is imaging a bunch of it is video like I didn't save a ton of the video especially like I'm thinking about like the COL drag race stuff um because once it was like kind of made it was uploaded to YouTube so mm -hmm. like it doesn't need to be kept because it's already there right so the uh, files and that don't do the same there. thing with the made show too right mm -hmm. so I have a lot of stuff. I also have a faulty brain. So, uh, you know what, Chuck? <laughs> Chuck, I see no lie in the external hard drive equals terabytes Listen, of porn. No, 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 that's not me. That's the other host. The other host is the one who has all the media. In fact, I think most of their media is like actual physical hard copy of of of. of so he has terabytes brought. of porn, but it's all on a whole bunch of different DVDs. <laughs> Probably maybe CBHS maybe CBHS. <laughs> oh, stop acting innocent over there! I ain't got time for you clutching your pearls. What? Uh, I, I'm gonna be le just like Chuck. Yeah, sip that tea. Because listen, here's the deal. <laughs> Our co-host that just left the seed <laughs> forgot that we've been around long enough as co-hosts. We remember when they lived in their apartment and talked about how they got their next shipment of the, of, uh, I don't know if it was Brush Creek or uh, there was a Bear studio films. that you got, Bear Films, Bear Films, yes, that you got automatic stuff from. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you just went up and grabbed what, like a hard, like a hard drive of. I have an external hard drive. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh huh. See, there you go. Mm -hmm. See, that's the one that has the has the prod on. The, like, don't get me wrong. I have a little bit, but no, like my. I my, used my, to. My, my, when my it all disappeared from various nuking orbits in my computer. Yeah, I have, <laughs> and, and the stuff that I used to have. <laughs> funnily enough is sitting upstairs in the uh, my old um, TV like tray TV holder uh, which was an old microwave tray um, microwave rack rolling thing um, and it is stacked and just sitting like I have not I have because of this I've not had to touch that in years right so no i i get that so 
my point of talking about the size of the of the folder that has the CAWL stuff in it is like I have two technically it's a it's a technically the capacity is three terabytes on the external hard drive uh, of which one terabyte is used 40 percent of that is CAWL <laughs> I just realized Sorry. doing the math um so anyways, but I, so I have a bunch of stuff to pr use, to provide, to supply, like, as we look at what we're doing in terms of this. I do think though, Jeff, as I was like, kind of, uh, I guess, brainstorming, I don't know what you want to call it. Like just talking a moment ago, I think the idea of like, maybe like creating an archive would make sense. Like, um, bear podcast did this, like their website is still up and whatever. Um, but I know like they kind of like had everything like that you would have to go back. But it, also I'm feeling like, you know, technology changes, things are different. Um, I know what I was going to say earlier, as I was talking about like how we moved to YouTube and that I feel like not many people these days are going to probably binge like an entire catalog. Yeah. Well, even the pod podcast feed itself <clears throat> didn't actually contain every single episode. Uh, right, it, right. It, it just had like the last 10 or something like that. Um, so if you went to, to, to pull up the feed through your favorite podcasting platform, uh, you would only be able to access that many. So while the blog itself had all the episodes, in some sense, it was essentially the archive, an archive already. In in the right. fact that you couldn't go into the podcast feed and listen to all the episodes, but you would be able to go into the website and listen to everything that we had access to. Well, and I guess it, what I'm thinking of is like what we could do is figure out a way to like group by the hundreds. I guess like everything that was in the 100s, the 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, now we're in the 700s, like just categorizing and working it. And I kind of feel like you just work backwards. Mm -hmm. um, and what I was going to say earlier is like, while it does seem overwhelming mm -hmm. and daunting, like anything, it's just piece by piece. So I guess what I'm saying is it's not going to happen overnight. No. By right. any means. Um, and it might be just like setting goals and being like, well, maybe the, the initial idea is to get like two old episodes a week repopulated. And you just kind of keep working back through that, knowing that we've got roughly 200 and plus episodes on YouTube. So that's a lot of like embedding the YouTube uh, like embed code like so that people can actually play it within the website if we want to do it that way or like that's what i'm saying is i mean like, that's I think we have an opportunity that's basically what i've been something. doing like it will have the right. show notes it will have a link to the audio podcast it will just have the like the podcast thumbnail and it has the youtube video embedded if that episode had a video right um I mean, like to, yeah, like Chuck was saying, and I think that's something to consider, like the, it, in a weird way, it's an opportunity to consider about like, can we figure out an automation aspect to things to minimize, not the, the, the rebuild, but the going forward. Mm -hmm. uh, so there might be there might be things that we hadn't considered or really looked into in quite a while to figure out like as each episode gets released, is there a way that it could like pull stuff in and, and kind of do that in a specific way? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I I don't know. We haven't quite considered that or even talked about it before. I think honestly, the the other part that probably hurts is like we were on autopilot, like we were just doing this thing and we had it all down and we had it pat, and so like there's a Google yeah. doc and there's a YouTube thing and blah, blah, blah. And like Damon does the like, you know, keyword yeah. tag and blah, blah, blah. Like, so. Yeah, the, we had a system. We had a way to make it work and we had a way that it was consistent and 
um, this has put a like thrown a huge monkey wrench into the system. But I feel like we can. I don't want to say, oh, God, I, the, the age is now becoming a thing. You know, we can rebuild it. We can make it stronger. Like that just popped in my head. Um, is that Million Dollar Man? Our I think so. Gosh, it's been a minute. But anyway, just like that, there's there's possibilities of things. And but I know that um, anything that can be done to help will be beneficial. So, um, and we all know that this is not going to be a quick thing. This is not going to be something um, that's going to happen like i don't want to say overnight but it's not going to be it's not going to be something that's going to happen for a little while but so be patient and understand that it will take some time i mean and this might be an interesting moment to think about like i don't think we've ever questioned because the website slash blog has existed since the inception. Like, I don't think we ever thought about like, well, who uses it and how often do they use it? Right. Like, and how are they utilizing it? Like, I know when I first joined, like I was going to the website to play in the media player, actual episodes, but I also am crafty enough to know how to like, save as <laughs> the mm-hmm. mp3 audio file or whatever like to download it if i wanted that or something but that was a long time ago too um before the proliferation of podcast feed like mm-hmm. software that mm-hmm. just like pulls it and that kind of stuff yeah so i mean I, I guess there's a part of me that's like going forward we know that we have the pieces the parts so to speak to put that out there mm-hmm. as each new episode comes along um but there may be some delays, you know, and we'll just kind of yeah, work through that stuff. I think for now, let's try to focus on the present, if that makes sense, from here out for now. And then we can have a conversation and maybe discuss what we do for the past stuff. Um, right. if we have someone that can help, that's great. If we have a algorithm or, you know, something that can make it like pull stuff and make it a little easier or faster. Great. If that's possible. Um, but right. And I mean, there are things that we might want to consider or figure out, and I don't know how we do this because this is not my wheelhouse of things. Like, is there a way to like get out of feed burner? Like, the previous audio files and so on and so forth, like to just pull them all down to save them, you know, to something as our own kind of backup, so to speak. Um, I don't know. So there was a part of me that thought about this, like, do we just redo it all and like go in a different direction with it? And I realized that this isn't really the time to approach Jeff, because this has been your child for so long to be like, hey, do you just want to redo the whole thing? Like, do you want to (laughs) rebrand? Because like we've invested a lot. I mean, we 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 got the three logos. um, So we got a thing that we're doing. And I'm not saying that we have to do that. I'm just saying, like. I could see for for some folks, they'd be like, oh, this is sort of a weird. Golden opportunity to. Like change that um but i don't think we have to do that in terms of like imaging or marketing i think we just have to yeah decide what we're um gonna want to do in in those pieces going forward uh for that Mm -hmm. but i mean i i i do think 
um, it also is an opportunity to think about, like we were saying, you know, what we want it to look like, what we want to do with it. Um, Chuck had said, you know, like, had offered maybe set up a wiki page, like, use a template of something, like, to simplify the the process. Um, I don't know. Like, there's there's different things that, uh, yeah. Oh, thanks, Chuck. Yeah. Do what you can when you can, and we'll be there to support the rebuilding. Um, that's appreciated. I think it, it's the... I know that I've used the website in certain ways, not so much on the back end, but like on the front end. And I just realized I'm like, oh, I guess I can't do that. <laughs> I was thinking about like flashback episodes. Like I just like jump to finding that particular episode and like... Go through some things. Uh, so right. it'll it'll take some work around to figure out some pieces of stuff. But yeah. Yeah, and I'm 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 totally up for the site redesigned. Mm -hmm. The only thing in to ensure that we at least have the audio pod the public audio podcast is that uh, it has it's got the blog which will end up going to FeedBurner, and FeedBurner has already been updated and only has the one episode because that's all that's on that feed right now. Mm -hmm. um, although I checked iTunes, and iTunes still shows the old episodes, but it's all good. Yeah. In yeah. any case. So. Um, it's just putting the post back. Looks-wise, um, I'm totally up for whatever. Um, just functionality is all I really care about. Right. I'm just, I didn't want to have to do this, do anything with like this. I wanted to continue with what I was doing for the past decade. Everything was going so, so well, and then all of a sudden everything come crashing down. And it doesn't help considering all the changes and everything that's been going on in the past this year it's not been great necessarily great and not great it's ups and downs and... yep i understand so more to come uh we'll see where that lands us uh mm -hmm. we've got a guest next week so we'll have a recurring guest episode um and then i think the week after that is our what's going on uh which we have some things to talk about there uh somebody will have a big update because they just got back from their honeymoon <gasps> Even though they've Who already me? been married for over. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> My God! <laughs> Maybe some people can't take their honeymoon immediately after they get married. Maybe some people need to find time to make it happen so that it's not like fucking with everything else that goes on in their life. And maybe some people take things too seriously. <laughs> Well, they are a drama queen. Count it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, apparently I found the nerve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway. Am I on it? <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind stepping off my nerve, please? <laughs> Or getting off my nerve, please. That would be great. <laughs> uh, okay. I think that's this particular episode. Somebody close it out. All right. So if you would like to get in touch with us, there are several ways to do that. You can send us an email at cubsoutloud at gmail.com. You can also leave us a voicemail. Uh, 
we haven't said this in a long time, sexy or otherwise, at 361 COL Talk. That's 361 265 8255. There are several ways that you can find us online. You can go to the now uh, infancy being rebuilt website, comesoutloud.com, or you could go to uh, pretty much Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube, slash Cubs Out Loud, or something of that sort, all one uh, word together. If you want to join the social chat, we have an entourage over at Telegram. It's bit.ly backslash Telegram hyphen COL. If you want to know when we're going to be doing uh, live shows, you can go to our Google Calendar to see what's happening there. That's bit.ly uh, slash calendar hyphen COL. You can also help support us, uh, pay to keep the lights on, so to speak. Um, as one option. So you can go to get merch. You can go to zazzle.com slash cubs out loud where you can get various accoutrement, as Jeff likes to say, of items. Uh, for instance, Jeff is wearing a long sleeve uh, tee that has our Cubs Out Loud uh, version three logo on it in like the square design. And it has, uh, oh, <laughs> he has the infamous <laughs> one of a kind, never to be reduplicated again. Oops, shirt. Uh, I forgot that I gave you that, that has the, the square logo on both the front and the back. Um, or uh, I think we have it loaded on the Zazzle store. Damon has the TNG um, anniversary hosts um, done in the Star Trek Next Generation font style uh, shirt. I am wearing the whatever uh, the Bears say these days newest like T-shirt line that we have. Um, and uh, so there's that. Uh, but there's plenty of things that are over there. Um, and man, Zazzle's been having a hell of a lot of sales recently. So if you just go visit and you create an account, I'm sure you're going to get all the notifications. The 20% off, the 30% off, the 40% off. The like, Do you want a sticker? Do you want like a yoga mat? Do you want a shower? Do you want a t-shirt? Do you want a wedding invitation? Like, my God, everything. <laughs> Left, right, center has been on sale a lot recently. So you don't even have to pay full price. Um, so that you could do that. You could also uh, support Smashy, who has been a member of our entourage and is a lovely human being and has designed some of our stuff. And you can support them by going to tpublic.com slash user slash Smashy the Bear, where you can see some of their other designs that are outside of what we have loaded in our Zazzle store. You can also be a patron. You go to patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud. And for a dollar or more a month, uh, you get the uh, full unedited versions of the show, which includes the uh, pre-show and the post-show of items along with some other things. Uh, and I will be, uh, I'm a little tardy to the party as usual um, and sending some stuff out, but folks will be getting uh, some items from us for being patrons. We greatly appreciate that. And you could just send us money. We will gladly accept it. You can go to paypal.me slash clubs out loud. You can make a one-time donation. Um, and you don't even have to like earmark it. You can say that you don't want recognized for it, any of that kind of stuff. Um, we would greatly appreciate it. Mm. That being said, uh, I'm going to presume this is still correct. Anywhere that you have your podcast feeds, you can type in Cubs Out Loud and find us and uh, listen to this show from there. With that being said, Jeff, where can they find you? I'm nowhere. I'm just off social media but i have stuff box tech box cup box something or other are you still on twitch's wind gem no well technically yes but i'm not using it okay if you wish to get in touch with me you can find me at theater cup 79 on most favorite related sites are on facebook actually no not on facebook as more as of just now, I now change that to pup number seven nine um, on Facebook. Um, you can also find me as pup underscore umber or pup umber seven nine pup underscore umber on Twitter or pup upper seven nine on Blue Sky. Those are not safe for work. For the safe for work stuff, you can find me as um, DMA Gamer seven nine on TikTok and Twitter. If you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as GareBear73. Uh, there may be others that go by GareBear, but I think there's only one of me that's the 73. Because I'm mm. old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't have a fact fan, otherwise I'd flash it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> wow. All right. With that, say good night, everybody. 
Good night, everybody. Have a good one, y'all.